Welcome to Sword Games with Connor and Steve. Part 4 will cover games related to fencing from low guards. Let's get started. In the High Fumtog vs. Alba drill, the attacker must start in overhead Fumtog, and the defender must start in a low guard. The attacker succeeds by landing a touch of any kind, and the defender succeeds by establishing blade contact. The attacker has priority in the event of a double. The purpose of this drill is to develop a direct attack from high from Tog and work on parries and sweeps from a low guard. If you have trouble with either side of this drill, try going to the direct attack drill for a few reps, then come back to this one. If you still have trouble, try isolating the attack motion to make sure you're sending the sword directly to its target as quickly as possible. In the second variation, the defender must finish with a touch after establishing blade contact. In the third variation, the defender may succeed by landing a touch on the attacker. Be aware that the attacker still has priority in the event of a double.
In the first falling upon drill, one fencer must start in a low guard, and the other may start wherever they want. Here we flip the script from the previous drill. Now the person in the low guard must land a touch, and the other fencer succeeds by establishing blade contact. The purpose of this drill is to simulate someone trying to fall upon your sword while you are in a low guard, perhaps because they're afraid of getting stabbed if they do a direct attack. Note that this drill is a bit skewed against the person in the low guard, because it is easier to establish blade contact than to land a touch. If you have trouble with this drill as the person in the low guard, try isolating the avoidance movement by holding your sword out, asking your partner to strike it in a predictable rhythm, and avoiding contact. In the second variation, the fencer who is not in the low guard gains the ability to succeed with a touch. Be careful with this drill. Note that it is highly skewed against the person in the low guard. Okay, so I'm allowed to switch to attack body now? Yep. Okay. The second falling upon drill starts from the scenario that the attacker has successfully fallen upon the defender's sword. Both fencers start in a bind with swords pointed downwards, with the attacker's sword on top. The attacker may only attack after the defender has left the bind. The goal for both is a touch. In the case of a double, priority goes to the defender. The purpose of this drill is to work various methods of disengaging after you have been bound above.